or somebody's gonna say, "Well, who is it?" The only thing you can say is, "It's not mine." Right. But and they over there looking crazy. Yeah, and you you really gotta see at that point if someone's gonna fucking do the right thing or they be like, "I don't know, ain't mine." Mm-hmm. Y'all the only two motherfuckers in this truck. Come on, it's yeah. one of y'all. So. <laughs> Again, when you have people who are so selfish like that, you know, they're completely and totally not even looking out for the other person and shit. Yeah. I'm like, dude, you, you could have waited to do some shit like that, bro. Yeah, yeah, for real. But yeah, but um, getting back to what I was saying, though, um, like on that Wednesday before we went out to Memphis, I hit my man up. I was like, what's going on in Memphis? He was like, ain't nothing going on out here. He's like, why? What's up? I was like, I'm looking for somewhere to go for my birthday. Like, yeah, it ain't nothing going on out here. But he was like, if you come through, let me know. So I kind of left it alone because I didn't get the tickets when I talked to him. And I looked mm-hmm. again and tickets was going up. And then I was thinking of looking at other places to go and, and shit was going up. Um, so I was just like, man, fuck it. It's a wrap. I'm done. So we went out that Friday to a, to a, a little bar club, whatever you want to call it, to have drinks and shit. So my uh my roommate was saying, he was like, so what you going to do for your birthday? He was, I was like, I don't know. I was thinking about going, you know, going to Memphis or whatever. And it was like, I, when I said I'm thinking, he was like, all right, let's do it. I'm like, what? I right, shit. So literally, like, and, and, and that's, what I, that's what I mean about real people. Because, like, he was like, let's do it. So, like, we literally sat at the fucking bar having a drink and stuff looking at flights and it's like real people like you don't find too many people who can roll at the last minute like that and it's like yeah, no. you know and it's like when you have people who will do that for you with you you know they're reliable and it's like that's the type of people that I want to have around me because it's like I know if I get in a pinch or a bond or whatever the case may be, it's like, yo, I'm I'm in a messed up spot. All right, I got you. Cool. And it's, it's, you just don't find too many people out there like that, man. It's it's just crazy. It's sad. Hell no, you don't. I mean, the thing about it is, um, when you got somebody, you know, who, who's just down for you like that, like, like you said, he was like, fuck it, let's roll. That is some awesome ass shit right there. Oh yeah, because ain't too many people like, well, man, I gotta do this and that, or mm-hmm. you know, they come up with all kind of damn excuses and shit. But when yeah. it comes down to, hey, let me help you get it in on your birthday, mm-hmm. my boy, you know what I'm saying? That's some cool ass shit. Yeah. But uh, I remember a story Joe Fat Joe was telling on his podcast, and he said he had to pretend to be broke to find out who was really down for him. Mm. I think he said at that time he was rolling with a crew of like 20, 30 people, something like that. Don't quote me on the numbers, but he said he pretty much called everybody to the side and told them, Hey, I'm broke. I ain't got it like that. And he said, he just watched motherfuckers disappear. <laughs> wow. Yeah. He said see? by the time all the smoke cleared, he said he was down to like five people. And he said, those are still the five people rocking with him here to this day. Mm. See, that's that crazy shit. Yeah, crazy. man. I'm like, damn, that's fucked up. Like, it is foul, man. That yeah, foul. your boy done held you down on so many occasions, I'm sure, because, you know, being in the spot like he is, I'm sure, you know, with an entourage, he, he carrying that weight. meaning All the, day. The financial responsibility of having yeah. people around him like that. So yeah, if somebody, oh, I, I can't even imagine doing some shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, oh, okay, so you broke now? All right, deuces. Mm. Like that's some cold bloody shit right there. It is. It is. Yeah, man. But yeah, we got we like. I hit my man up. I was like, yo, we're gonna be there at such and such time. And um, we get out there. Um, we land. Uh, matter of fact. Before we even get to to Memphis, we land in ATL for a layover. My man Dre called me on the phone. Hey, I heard you're going to be in Memphis this weekend. 
I was like, yeah, man, me and my homie were flying out there. He was like, if you need anything, let me know. And it's like, bam. 